so the floor is out. We got it all up. See where the damage is. We got a plan. We got some fresh 2x4s. We got some joist hangers. So now it's time to cut out the bad, put in the good. We also found that the uh, floor vent system, every joist was notched out to fit that. So we're just going to remove the entire system so that we have solid joists going end to end. And uh, that gives us some spare sheet metal to fix the holes that are in the floor. Uh, there's some wear holes over there where the entire support system was giving out, so the sheet metal was rubbing over the, uh, the frame underneath, and it's just got a bunch of holes there, so we'll patch that up, make everything strong again so we can walk around. Now it's, it's real sketchy walking around here, even with the, uh, the plywood down. Um, <laughs> we got to be really careful when we walk, so, until we get the new joists in place. So that's what today's project is. we got eight 2x4s, 16 hangers, and a couple hours to work, so... Get to work. All right, so here's what we're dealing with. We've got, we start replacing the wood. Step in the right place. So we started replacing the wood. We found that when we went to lay this one, it was above the floor levels. What's going on? And if we look outside, stepping very carefully, we can see that this has started to sag because all the, all the joists were rotted out and there was nothing holding it up. So we're gonna use the floor jack to raise it up and then have the new floor joist hold that in place. So here goes nothing. So another thing that happened is that supposedly this piece got rotted out so the previous owner cut right through the siding or right through the, the, uh, the metal underneath to replace this piece of wood 
but never supported it. So it just it just started to sag once the joists gave out. So we need to lift it back up. And uh, now we're patching it. That's what he's doing. He's putting a two foot piece of two by four across that with eight screws. So that we now have a very firm patch across that across that uh, that cut that was made. All right, so now we can nail that joist on. I let him do all the work while I watch. So the, the previous joists were just screwed in from the outside into the end. We're, uh, we're, um, he said that was a hard cut. Um, so we're upgrading with these joist hangers so that they're supported really firmly. There won't be any sagging coming on. Set it at 16 inches on center. All right, so let's see if it holds. Oh, all right, there it is. All right, looks like we did it. <laughs> Two done. <laughs> we got, we got eight just for today, just for across here, and that's, uh, we'll probably have to do that for the rest of them because this whole area here is rotted out and is probably sagging. We also have some past work to do here. So I just squirted some caulk into that one. Hopefully that'll keep that one uh, from spraying too much water. Up we go. Now I have two places to stand, yay. Okay.
Day two of the uh, floor joist replacement, and what we had been doing is hanging the studs with hangers and nailing them in like you do in a house. However, uh, it dawned on me that in a trailer, during transport, during use, the whole thing's going to flex and twist, and those nails will slowly work the, themselves out, and then we have the same problem where we have loose floor joists. So, we're going to remove the nails that we used and replace them with a Place them with screws so that they don't come out, and we'll be certain to have a nice strong floor because uh, that's going to be pretty important. All right, ready to work? Let's get to work. All right, fresh batteries. So, we've gotten the floor joists replaced all the way up to the furnace. Now, obviously we've been taking out the duct work, but the next joist is supporting the furnace. So we need to figure out how to get that out. My guess is it slides outwards. or parked so close to the house. I don't know if we'll have room to slide it out. So let's go around and look and see. <laughs> Time to lose some weight. Huh. Interesting. So I guess this is just the, uh, this is the vent here. So it actually doesn't slide out, so we should be able to go that way with it. that. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess we want to pull these out. No, that's not even connected. Where is it? I don't know. Alright, so it looks like we're doing this from the inside. Oh, we'll slide back this way. And don't trip on the wire. <laughs> nice heavy handle here. Pull the hole. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this part feels a whole lot better now.
Okay. So when we started this project, I was starting to get us some uh, some, mas uh, some masks to keep all the 
the, the dirt and grime and dust and everything out of our lungs. Well, we've been wearing these the whole time. We just got brand new ones. So all of this that you see in here, I can get it nice and close and focused. So you can see the difference of what would have been in our lungs had we not been wearing these masks compared to a brand new one, nice and sparkly clean. So yeah, if you're doing anything like this, especially when there's a uh, mouse poop, definitely wear a mask because all of that would have been in our lungs. That is, that is nasty. All right, let's get to work. Slight narrative here. Got to the back door, and I knew there was some damage as well. But similar to the the front sliding door, it's just rotted away completely in two pieces. Wouldn't even hold together. So we're seeing how far back we need to go. We're gonna replace this entire piece all the way up to about here, where it starts to get good again, and there's not as much water damage. Yay! 